Show me the faster. I go for demos. So it converts it, and then what it does is it takes the interpreter payload, converts it to hex, splits it into 100, uh, 100 byte chunks, and then again puts it back onto the underlying operating system. So this one just happens to take two of eight. It does it dynamically, so if it happens to be a bigger payload, whatever you want it to be, you can import your own. Um, it doesn't matter, it'll just start doing it in different chunks. By the way, all of these um, attacks that we're using here are available if you go to the Metasploit Unleashed website. It shows you how to create a vulnerable web application, and this web application is vulnerable to this specific attack. So, so it's sitting in different chunks, 8 out of 8. Go ahead and uh, execute it after some converting, and we have a interpreter shell. So now we're sitting on our internal network, all nice and cozy, with interpreter. So, always nice stuff. Any questions on this? Scared? <laughs> so that's that's that. Um, there's the auto and automation. I typically don't use that too much. If you don't want to remember all the commands for DB create stuff like that, you can just run run the auto own stuff. You just enter an IPN, it does all the stuff for you and launches the exploits off of it. It's kind of kind of it's like four lines of code. Um, there's the mass client attack, which is similar to if you're familiar with the browser auto own and exploit. Um, it generally does the same thing. So, from a browser auto perspective, um, as soon as you browse a website, it launches like you know a zillion exploits. At you. Same thing for this. Uh, this one it uses a combination of what's built into Metasploit, as well as like Internet Explorer bugs that I found and published. They're also custom compiled in there as well. So, as soon as you go to the website, you know, enter your IP address you're listening on. So, I'm 129. And I don't typically recommend this route. I mean, it's like firing a bazooka at something you can really just use like a knife. <laughs> it goes through and loads everything in a Metasploit for you, and it loads everything on the back end and all you do is just browse it. And right now, this person is not going to be happy. Because on the back end, it's running a ton of exploits. You can see here, it's just firing off exploit after exploit. Oh, man. <laughs> That's close. Going through, it's continuing. And if you look, this machine's probably not going to be too happy right now because it's doing a bunch of keep exploits. So if you look here, <laughs> <laughs> oh, perfect timing. So it's not going so good from as far as um, my performance goes. There we go. So it's spiking up and down, spiking up and down. Now, the reason why it's spiking and you don't see the actual memory usage going is because it hasn't triggered on a specific exploit, so it hasn't filled the heap yet. But this will literally go on forever. If you look here, I had no session, so I mean, it didn't go so good. But it generally does work. Any questions on that? No? Good. Now, on the exploit side of things, it also has exploits built into it. Uh, so ones that weren't necessarily um, in, in Metasploit will actually go through, and there's a few different ones in there uh, that weren't necessarily put in, in Metasploit, or ones that I wrote and published that are in there as well. You can always use them as a direct exploit method as well. That's pretty much it from a fast track perspective. So does anybody have any questions? Any questions at all? No? I appreciate it. Well, you can always go to secmaniac.com. I actually did um, some tutorials. So basically, um, some tutorials online that you can use um, that are voices. You know, I can voice over it so you can hear my voice the entire time. 
And then you can also email me at DaveK at social-engineer.org or follow me on Twitter, which is Dave underscore Relic with a 1. So you can always ask me, you know, ask a question. I think a lot of people here already have. So you'd be more than willing to send me any type of bug fixes or feature requests or things like that. I generally put it in pretty quickly from there. But appreciate your time, guys. Thanks.